This is the Pocket Monster Manual. I'm Wooly Shambler, here with Animage. Hey lads, you want some dirt? MD? Yeah. Racing Brand? I'll take a whole mountain's worth. <laughs> and Specs? Go love the dirt, mate. <laughs> We're talking about Larvitar. Mm-mm-mm. Baby Godzilla. Love him. Nah. Yeah. This guy's lame. Oh, fucking God. What? It's lame. <laughs> Fuck you, Mitch. This guy's lame. I, I don't like anything. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> anyway, look at this guy. He's got, like, the eye drop tattoo because he's been in jail. Yeah, it means he killed Cause someone. Because he killed somebody. And all he does is sit around and eat the, like, I, I mean, the kid who no one liked did at school. <laughs> Look, at least he gets something out of eating dirt, unlike you. <laughs> he can eat a lot more dirt than you, Mitch. In fact, you are envious because he can eat an entire mountain and you could only eat a sandcastle. Yeah, Larvitar evolves by eating an entire mountain in order to become Pupitar, which, I mean, demonstrably isn't true. How the fuck is this species, like, sustainable? <laughs> yeah, like how many Larvitar can exist in the world if each of them has to eat one mountain? How many new mountains are made? Well, as a pupitar, it shits out a mountain. So, and then at the very, oh. at the very cap is the pubitar, and once it breaches the clouds, <laughs> it becomes a tyranitar when it just gets engulfed in the solar energy. That makes an odd amount of sense. <laughs> Ruby and Sapphire says that Larvitar is born deep under the ground. To go up to the surface, this Pokemon must, must eat its way through the soil above. Until it does so, Larvitar cannot see its parent's face. Jesus. <laughs> the Tyranitar just buries it deep in the ground and then, like, waits patiently at the top of the mountain. Dude, it takes the egg and it just fucking, like, punts it deep into the ground. <laughs> Slams it into the ground. <laughs> yeah. Open palm slam. How long do you think they sleep for when they, uh, when they finish eating? 20 levels. <laughs> This is rock and ground. I thought it was dark type. Tyranitar gets the dark type. Okay. Why isn't this one dark as well? I don't know. Because he's not evil yet. Children are inherently innocent. Nah, not him. He's seen some shit. I don't know. I mean, he's got like a giant dark gash on the side of his tummy. So like... Is that not just like an air vent so that he can like, I don't know, cool off? That's where all the darkness vents out of. That makes him rock and ground. Mm, maybe. What What is dark type in Pokemon? Do we have like... Evil. Is it evil? Yeah, it's, it's evil. It, it fights dirty. It lives a gothic lifestyle. One of those. <laughs> but it's weird because then you have like Pokemon like Absol who are dark type but are ex like... I guess they're only classified dark type based on what humans decide they are. Because really... Yeah. Absol lives a gothic lifestyle so my criterion fits. But it's not evil, though. That's the thing. Like, even if you're going by this, the Japanese thing of evil, Absol is explicitly good, but people decide it's evil, so they label it as evil, mm. which somehow influences what it's weak to, even though if it was, like, Pokemon labeling it, it'd probably be, like, psychic or something. Okay. I think dark is pretty much anything that's, like, sinister or, like, maybe, like, misunderstood or, like, mysterious. If it's edgy, it's dark. Yeah, pretty much. I guess we'll get onto it when we get onto Tyranitar, but we can maybe discuss how this thing has evolved to be sinister from being, I guess, just a groundy, rocky thing. With attitude! He's got the evil eye, so he just hasn't grown up to have the evil mind yet. Mm. This is clearly a, a, a trouble child, you know? Problem child. Yeah. Feel that. We mentioned a while back that, um... We think that Dark might have been added very late on. I wouldn't be surprised if it's kind of like, just slap that onto Tyranitar. Yeah, maybe. I guess that is an interesting thing to do with this line, though, because it means that there could be a reason to use a Pupitar or a Lavatar over a Tyranitar because of the typing, which you don't see very often with evolutions, right? Yeah, but rock grounds everywhere. Yeah. You could, Yeah, you could get a uh, rock ground anywhere that's better than this. Yeah. Speaking of where to get it, you get it at Mount Silver after you've beat Kanto in the Leap 4 twice. Yeah, this is the end end game Pokemon to catch. Basically, by the time you get it, the game's over. So is Mischievous too, which is really annoying. Yeah. yeah Mischievous makes no sense. Like, Larvitar can get behind because he's like the pseudo-legendary. He's like the strong boy, but Mischievous is just like a ghost. 
Like, okay. Yeah, and there's mo- there's multiple haunted places in the game previously. You can stick them one in there, but no. Yeah. I'm glad the remakes fixed that. I think you can get both way earlier. Like, Safari Zone. Did you know what Larvatar's name comes from? Uh, no, go on. Larva. Oh. <laughs> Is that it? Just lava? Where does the guitar come from? Because he's he's part of guitar. Surely it should be fire type if it's derived from lava. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> In Japanese, its name comes from the word for baby, the word for lava, and the word for hate. <laughs> and it's called yogiras. I hate, I hate baby, baby lava. Or you think if it's sprites, it's changed colors a fair amount of times. The shiny got darker. Which is actually kind of like more than the old one. Mm, yeah, I'd agree with that. This is another one where the shiny looks, the shiny in Gen 2 looks like it became the real one for Gen 3. Yeah, the original spot is so green. It used to be like a green apple and now it's more kind of mint. Do you think it changes colors based on the quality of soil it eats? That's why my avatars are always brown. That would be a cool thing, but like, I'm disappointed when they write that in the decks for some Pokemon and then you never see it happen in the game and yeah. you know that they're not going to take the time to make sort of different colours of one specific Pokemon. They've done it a few times for things, but like it'd be good if they could add like like if you could put a random slight contrast and um, darkness variation on each Pokemon so that every Pokemon you catch could be a slightly different colour but still have a base colour of, say, green. It's a different different shade. Isn't that exactly what Stadium does? Does it do it in Stadium? Well, that's with nicknames. With Stadium, depending on the nickname, you like have different shades of Pokemon. It's weird. See, that's really cool. Why didn't they carry that over into any of the future games? Well, you see, Game Freak is just such a small company that they don't have the budget for it. In the, like Monster Hunter, monsters' height and weight vary slightly. And there's like records for catching the biggest, heaviest monsters and stuff. Monster colors vary as well in some of the Monster Hunter games, so yeah. There's Magikarp catching, you have to catch the biggest Magikarp, but that's it. Uh, remember when Ash went inside one of these things' minds? No. 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 Oh, <laughs> So he got an egg from Professor Um that was um, a Larvitar, and he had to like deliver it to a Tyranitar in Mount Silver, which totally makes sense. So he got it, it hatched and everything, and it was a timid little guy. And then at some point, I don't know if he went into the mind, or no, it was some unknown shit. Yeah, so an unknown teleported them to a dimension that was like made of Larvitar's experiences and stuff, and it was some it was some crazy shit. <laughs> was this in the movie with Unknown or the this show? This was an this was an episode. It was basically just like an Eldritch landscape where they like navigated Larvitar's trauma. It was basically a Persona dungeon. <laughs> the fuck, that actually sounds cool. <laughs> I tell you what, we've missed this entire fucking series. We haven't been reading. The Poker Ranger descriptions. Larvatar is small, but its bite is powerful. It can easily chomp down a wooden fence. Oh Whoa. shit, watch out for him. Oh my god. If you're a wooden fence, you're as good as dead, my friend. <laughs> or a mountain. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if it can eat through rock, it can eat through wood, surely, right? Only a wooden fence, though. Do you think it can uh, eat a dirt fence, or do they get cancelled out? What's the, what's the policy on steel fences? It can't eat alloys. It can only eat, like, <laughs> true elements. But you would think if he eats a mountain, at some point he would have to eat some sort of, like, mineral and metal or something, He just right? goes around those. He leaves those for Minecraft, Steve. <laughs> Is that really eating a mountain? No, that's kind of, like, that's kind of cheating. Well, it's like when, when your parents would try and get you to eat your greens and you'd sort of just, you'd, you'd like, you know, you'd eat the mash and you'd eat the sausages, but you'd leave the peas. One time I had to eat all my greens, and my stepbrother was like, just eat them all at once, it'll be easy. And I put all the green beans in my mouth and spit them out on the plate, and I had to sit there for, like, hours. <laughs> <laughs> Try to speedrun the meal. I need percent all veggies. 